All right, so um, the reason I'm making this video is that when you guys do your PowerPoint presentations and I want you guys to write an equation, there's two ways to get the equations in there. One is that you can find an app that will let you take like a screenshot of this, um, but that's not always the easiest thing to do. And uh, sometimes they don't have a screenshot of this, and so sometimes you want to enter in a, a, an equation out of your textbook. So for I guess what I'm saying is, is that when you guys do your um, your Google slide presentation, uh, when you want to enter in an equation, there isn't an equation editor in um, Google Slides, so you're kind of limited in how you would do that, how you would enter that in. So for example, that's uh, linear momentum. And if I wanted to enter in that equation, there's no easy way to get this equation here uh, into um, the Google slide. So uh, what I want to show you is that if you go to your uh, Google and type in uh, Chrome Store, and on your Chromebooks, you'll have that little icon like this. You can you can pull it up that way too, under Google Apps. Most of you guys will have like the Chrome Store somewhere in your apps. Um, of course, of course, I don't have it on mine because I don't. I'm not using my Chromebook. I'm using my Mac. But anyways, you can get to the Google the Chrome Store by just typing in Chrome Store, and there's a link here. And and so when you click on your link, whether it's on your Chromebook or on a computer. Um, you'll get this here. Now if you type in the search for equation editor, um, my favorite is this first one here and it's the DOM uh, equation editor and so you when you click on that and you launch the app um, we can very easily um, edit an equation and then uh, post it online. So now what I like to do is I like to have the, I'm just going to do this first little section here, uh, the F subnet and all that stuff, and I'm going to I'm going to enter it in right here. Now what I like to do is I like to kind of split the screen to enter the stuff in. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to type in the vector notation for force net. So if I come here, um, notice that it has a symbol and I've got this little thing here where it says right arrow over the expression and you'll see this. Now if I type in this box F, uh, notice that it puts it here in the bracket. So there's two ways to enter in the equations. Mr. Adams can enter it in this way, which is what we call LaTeX, which is uh, like a computer programming language that's used for a lot of uh, um, well, calculators and stuff. But it, what it does is it, it, it lets us type in um, mathematical equations if we know LaTeX. But you guys don't know that. So um, now the other thing that I could do is I can also uh, do the subset notation, which is this here, or subscript is what it's called. Now if I take this and I put it in here, and then I type in net, and I just did the old copy and paste. Now I've got F, net, all this stuff. Now, um, there's a little bit of a gap or space, and I don't want that space there, so I just take it out like so. And that's that. So now I'm going to say equals, and I want a space in between. Whoops. And so that puts a little space there, and then I'm going to put another space in between. And I'm going to say M times A, but over the A, I want this little vector. So I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to type the lowercase a. Then I'm going to hit equals, space, equals again. Um, now I want an equation, so I'm just going to come here. And I'm going to enter in the equation. I could do it as a fraction or a continued fraction. So I'm just going to do that. All right, we'll start over. So I'm going to say M, and then I'm going to say V, and then I'm going to say minus, and then I'm going to plug in my subset notation, right? And then over this, I'm going to plug in my vector. And so this is V naught. So it's V naught. And this should have been a vector too. I don't know what I was thinking. So this should have been a V. And we'll delete that one out of the way. 
and then we close parentheses on this thing when we're done. Close parentheses, all over delta t. So then I come over here to the Greek letters, find the capital delta, and then t. So there's my formula, and I'm not going to put the rest of it in, but this is my formula. Now there's two ways I can handle this. If I, I can't copy this latex and put it into Google Chrome, and if I if I copy this, it won't. I basically have to save it as an image, and I can save it as an image to my Google Drive. So if I click on Save Image, it's going to want to save it on my computer. And it'll look a little different for you than it does for me. If I click it to my Google Drive, it's going to save it, and you'll, you'll get this too the first time you run it. It'll say, do you want permission to the Google Drive? And you say yes. And then when you save to your Google Drive, where will that save? Well, it's going to show up in your Google Drive somewhere in the main drive. Okay, It'll be fairly new, and you'll see it in there. So how do you get that into your... Um, PowerPoint presentation. Well, if I hit insert and I go to image and then I can get it from my Google Drive. If you go to Google Drive, it'll be fairly new. So you're going to you're going to have to scroll down here and here it is. OK, when you see it, then you can select it. And what it does is it actually saves it as a picture. And then once you have the picture, you just put it wherever you want. And then that is your slide. So if you want to see what that looks like um, when you go to do your presentation it would have the equation here and then because it's really just a picture an image you can make it big by clicking on the corner making it bigger uh, you can make it smaller you can move it wherever you want on the slide and that's how it'll show on your screen okay um, I think that's it